Hi and welcome to this DCP Web HTML5 CSS Beginners Tutorial Part 3. So in the last tutorial we built this really basic web page and we want to add some extra code. So I'm going to open up the web browser and open up Notepad++ and let's just get these aligned over here. Now if you don't already see, normally when you open up Notepad++ it's going to remember the last thing that you did. If you don't see that here then you can always go to file open or you can just open up your file on your desktop you can drag and drop that into the google chrome browser and we can drag and drop that into notepad plus plus now we can go ahead and start coding again now there's lots of different tags in html5 and it also have a different purpose so we're going to go through and look at what we call the header tag today so we're going to delete this line of text and we're going to put in something called the h1 tag first and as I'm typing this in if I type in h1 you'll notice that the software notepad plus plus is trying to predict what is it I want to type in there's h1 2 3 4 5 and there's h6 so it goes from h1 all the way down to h6 so let's type in h1 here and remember when we open up a, a tag we should close it so we'll close this tag and we're going to type something in here and we're going to say this will be the main title for this page and then we'll go ahead and save it and we can press F5 or refresh and you can see here this will be the main title for this page and you can see it's quite a large font because we call this the header tag the h1 tag um, and really what this is, if you go to any website, so let's just go to, for example, my own website, right? So here we can see my website and obviously it's coded differently and we will get to a point where we can build something kind of similar to this. Um, but if we go ahead and look at the source code, so view source code, and I'll advise you do this. If you go to other websites and look at the source code, you can really get a better understanding. Later when you get a bit more advanced, you understand coding a bit better you can start to really look at this code and understand it and really read it quite clearly what's going on. But if we search through this code for H1, we'll see here, this is what we call the H1 tag. And this one happens to say DCP, London Web Designers. I'm a London website design company. And that's my name, DCP. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. Now, um, one thing to note is... On a web page, you should really never have more than one H1 tag. So it's really like the almost like the the title of the page or the or the or the book cover. You know, it's like it's like the front page. What is this page about? This H1 tag should only ever be used once. But we do have other H H uh, tags as well. So what we can do is underneath here, we can do a H2 tag. And when we open it, we must close it H2. And you know to speed things up a little bit I'm going to select this text right click copy and then we'll press Control V on our keyboard to paste it down or you can right click paste and remember we want six of them so we've got one two three four five and six so this is h2 this will be h3 h2 is above so we open and close this as a h3 this will be a h4 this will be a h5 this one will be a h6 so in here we could we can um let's let's save a bit of time and we'll select this text edit copy or Control c to copy and we'll press Control v to paste it in between these tags so we can just see it's the same text written on each one of them but when we refresh and reload the page we'll see they're at different sizes. So it starts from the biggest and all the way down to H6, which will be the smallest. And really we use these header tags to emphasize certain sections on the page. So if we go back to my website as an example, if we scroll down, we can see like these titles, so these titles here and here and here and here, these will all be different header tags latest blog post that will be a header tag as well and newsletter subscription that will be a header tag because you can see they're like slightly larger font and we don't have to use all six normally use 
in most cases you probably never use more than three so you'll have one main title and then loads of subtitles and then maybe some sub subtitles smaller ones as you go down the page so that's how we create header tags it's quite important to know that and normally you would start off with just the one header tag right at the top here like this so that's the basic understanding of header tags in the next tutorial we'll look at some more formatting tools or formatting tags that we can use to format our content we've deleted this text here so if we go back here and refresh we'll just see our one main page title and now in the next tutorial we're going to start to actually add content below and start to format that using some basic html tags and then we can go and move on to some more advanced tutorials showing you how to add images and so forth okay i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial